Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the undefined terms, points, lines, and planes. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly describe a point, a line, and a plane, and correctly represent point, line, and plane using concrete pictorial models. What are the undefined terms and how do you describe them? How does a point, a line, and a plane differ from one another? Let's find out. The first undefined term is the point. The point is the most basic building block of geometry, which is represented as a dot and is named using a capital letter. It has neither size nor shape. It only has location. So yung point wala siyang size, wala din siyang shape. Hindi natin masabi na yung point ay circle. So kasi wala siyang shape. It only has location. Example. The point below is called point Q, so that point is represented by a dot, and the name of this point or this dot is capital letter Q. There are a lot of objects that can represent a point, such as a grain of sand, seed, and the tip of a pen. However, it is important to note that an actual point is smaller than any grain of sand that ever existed. We can also say that a point is used to determine a location. For example, in pinning your location on a map, you use a point. The next undefined term is the line. The line is a straight arrangement of infinitely many points that extend indefinitely in both directions. It does not have thickness and its length is infinite. So yung line wala siyang thickness and it uh, the length is infinite because it extends uh, in both direction, to the left and to the right. A line can always be drawn given any two distinct points. Thus, it is usually named using two of the points it contains. So we have here two of the points of these lines. We have point A and point B. So we can name this line as line AB or line BA. It is good to note that given two distinct points, one can always form a line just by connecting them. So if we have two points, we can connect, uh, we can form the line by connecting these two points. Okay? So that here, joining the points A and B, we can form the line AB. Example, the line below is called line LM. We have point L and point M. In symbols, we have line LM. Okay, so we have capital letter L and capital letter M, and then we draw um, a line with uh, two arrow heads sa taas ng capital letter. Okay, line LM or pwede ring line ML. Next, we have what we call collinear points. Collinear points are two or more points that lie on the same line. Pwede dalawang points, pwede tatlo, or pwede mas marami pa. Um, that lie on the same line, nasa isang linya lang sila, so nasa isang line. So, they are called collinear points. Otherwise, uh, they are called non-collinear kung wala naman sila sa isang linya lang. Example, in the figures below, we have point A, point B, and point C. They lie on the same line, so these points are called collinear points. Collinear points. Next, we have points L. M and N. These are non-collinear points because they don't lie on the same line. However, notice that point L and point M lie on the same line. So, they are collinear points. But of course, point L and point M and point N, they are non-collinear because they don't lie. These three points don't lie on the same line. We also have what we call intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that intersect, meaning they meet at a common point. And that common point is called the point of intersection. Example, we have here line PQ and line RS. These two lines meet at the same point. Okay? So, since Line PQ and line RS met, we say that they are intersecting lines. Their point of intersection is T. So, 
So we have here point T as their point of intersection. The next undefined term is the plane. A plane has length and width, but it has no thickness. It is represented as a flat surface that extends infinitely along its length and width, and it is usually drawn as a four-sided figure. In naming a plane, we make use of capital letter found at the corner of the illustration, or we may also use any three non-collinear points in the plane. Example, the plane on the right can be named plane, plane S, okay, capital letter at the corner of the plane, or of the figure, or we can also name this plane using three non-collinear points. So, kung may tatlong um, non-collinear points tayo dito, pwede ding yun ang name ng plane natin. Let's try this. Identify whether each of the following represents a point, a line, or a plane. A string, a wallpaper, a sheet of paper, and a drop of paint. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Yung string. A string is usually long and narrow, therefore, it is most likely a line. What about a wallpaper? A wallpaper is pasted on a wall that is usually flat, thus, it represents a plane. What about a sheet of paper? A sheet of paper is a flat surface, so it represents a plane. A drop of paint. Since what is indicated is just a drop of paint, it is most likely a point. Next exercise. Draw and label the figure being described in each of the following. Letter A, plane YES, point D, line QR, and intersecting lines FG and HI. Isa-isahin natin. Okay, first, um, draw and label the plane YES. So, a plane is represented by a four-sided figure. So, you, you may uh, draw a four-sided figure and then put the points Y, E, and S as non-collinear points. So, dapat hindi sila, wala sila sa isang line lang. You cannot connect them in just one, one line. Okay? So, we have here the points Y, E, S. So, we can name these uh, or this figure using these three non-collinear points. So this is called plane YES. For point D, a point is illustrate, illustrated using a dot. So we have here um, a dot and we name this point as point D with capital letter D. For line QR, we can draw a line that has arrowheads in both directions. And uh, we can have uh, the points Q and R. So this line is called line QR. Or in symbols, we can write this as uh, QR, capital letters. And then we draw a line that has two arrow heads in both directions sa taas ng capital letters. Okay, so this is read as line QR. Next one, we have intersecting lines, F, G, and H, I. So, we can draw two lines. So, we have here, uh, we have the line H, I, at the end, and the line, uh, the, li uh, the line F, G, the end, F, G. And these lines intersect at the point of intersection, which is point J. Okay, so we label the point of intersection as J.